In this next example, we're asked to find the sum of the series. Notice in contrast, the questions we've been dealing with in terms of series so far have been, does the series converge? Does the series diverge? Decide which one. We've got a whole battery of tests that we can apply to check for convergence. When we did know it converged, we never actually asked for the value to which it converged. That's generally a hard question. Unless it was a geometric series or a telescoping series, in general, that's a hard question. But yet now we're asking to actually find the value to which the series converges. So we're delving a little bit deeper now. We know the series converges. To what value does it converge to? Before we work on these ones, let me just look at a quick example. So we saw before that the logarithm of 1 plus x is the sum negative 1 to the n plus 1 x to the n over n as n goes from 1 to infinity. And we saw then that if you evaluated this at when x equals 1, work out its value, so that's ln of absolute value 2, but 2 is already positive, so that's ln of 2. Plugging 1 into this side gives us negative 1 to the n plus 1 all over n. And that's 1 minus a half plus a third minus a quarter plus dot dot dot. From this power series representation of log of 1 plus x, we've got out of that that the alternating harmonic series converges to log of 2. So we've known all along that the alternating harmonic series converges. Now we know what it converges to, log of 2. And we got that by realizing some connection with the power series for the logarithm of 1 plus x. That's the same idea that we want to apply in these next couple of examples. I've got this series, the sum of 2 to the n over n factorial. Can I find a function and its Taylor series so that evaluating the function at a particular number is the same as evaluating the Taylor series at that number? And when I evaluate the Taylor series at that number, it is precisely this 2 to the n over n factorial. Well, the 2 to the n over n factorial, if I imagine that not being a 2 there, but I imagine it being an x, x to the n over n factorial. Oh, I know that one. That's e to the x. Well, e to the x is x to the n over n factorial. n goes from 0 to infinity. And that's when x is any number between negative infinity and infinity. So any real number, I get equality here. So that means, in particular, I could plug 2 in. And I get that this series converges to e to the 2. And there we go. We found the sum of the series. The sum of the series is e squared. How about this next one? Negative 1 to the n over 2 to the n plus 1. The sum of that is n goes from 0 to infinity. So there's the first few terms written out. What does that converge to? Again, the alternating series test would tell us it converged, but it wouldn't tell us what it converged to. Now we need to figure out what it converges to. How do we do that? Well, one thing to note is if we skip back to our table, we see that the arctan function is this power series where only the odd powers of x survive, and they're divided by 2n plus 1. That seems to be precisely what I want here. Because if I have the arctan function, n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1, all over 2n plus 1. Where does this hold? It holds for x between negative 1 and 1. Now, this is alternating, so not only does it actually hold between negative 1 and 1, it actually holds at 1 as well, because if I plug 1 into this expression, this is an alternating series. It's negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1. It's alternating, terms are going to 0, so we get equality here. So notice we get equality. That means I can evaluate both sides at 1. Now, I can certainly evaluate this side at 1, and I can certainly evaluate this side at 1, but why are they equal? Well, that really has to do with the fact that the arctan is a continuous function, this power series uh, is continuous, and so if you extend out to where this thing converges, and it does converge at 1, then by continuity they should equal there. So this 
is equal to negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1. That's the series I wanted to know the value of. I find it, it's arctan of 1, so that is therefore pi by 4. So we just worked out the value of this series, the sum of that series, is pi by 4.